Yeah. The adverse childhood experiences. Yeah. And their relationship to adult well-being and disease. Turning gold into lead. You know, um, this uh, collaborative effort between Kaiser and the Center for Disease Control. Yeah. They did a very large study of, uh, of uh, the lifespan of the medical, social, and economic consequences in adults. Yeah. Of their adverse childhood experiences. Oh. <laughs> 17,337 participants. Mm-hmm. Now, this study uh -huh, and a summary of its findings that... Um, that ACEs are strong predictors of latter death, disease, health risks, social functioning, well-being, and medical medical car medical care costs. Yeah. Now my sons are going to be adults at one point, and for every time that you alleged, yes, mm -hmm, uh, that um, this uh, fat problem, fifty-one weeks later, four hundred eight pounds to one hundred thirty-two pounds. Oh my God. Talk about an uh, individual that had a weight uh, problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there's the idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That when you issue protection orders where their father did not get any due process. And then you allege, you accuse mm -hmm, me of numerous crimes that I had, um, I hadn't had any involvement in. Yeah. <laughs> Then you use look-alike parents to act the part of Paul C. Budnick and Squim Washington. <laughs> I kind of think that my sons have been reading the emails and watching the videos. Yes. Now, yesterday, I gave you the evidence that I wasn't in Jefferson County. <laughs> and it could be that you're going to get sued for anything and everything right now for the rest of their lives. <clears throat> now, um... These are what you call multi-billion dollar lawsuits. And we'll start with a billion this morning. Yeah. But I would think that by the time I'm done making videos today, mm -hmm, it's going to be hundreds of billions of dollars. Uh, molestation in childhood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, I haven't been able to parent my sons. Yes. Since my wife abducted them and kidnapped them. Mm-hmm. And uh, the childhood experience is the psychological experience, 11%. Physical abuse on the part of parents, 28%. Sexual abuse, 22%. Then there's neglect by category, the emotional and physical. Mm -hmm. Now, I told you they were in the wrong grades. That would be emotional and physical abuse. Mm -hmm. For them not growing up with the right peer group, yes, mm-hmm. Because you just had to keep them in the wrong grades. Household dysfunction by category. Yes. You know, for 20 years, I didn't drink or use any drugs. Mm -hmm. While married for the 10 years, we never had any alcohol in our house. Yes. Now, you want to say that smoking was a problem, but I always smoked outside. I never smoked in the house. Yes. <laughs> Never did the whole time of marriage and never had any smoke in the house. <laughs> now, there could be, yes, this idea that you're going to accuse somebody of domestic violence and child abuse. Mm -hmm. Where for 10 years, yes, there was no alcohol in the house, mm -hmm. no prescription drugs. Oh, see, my wife never had prescribed any antidepressants. Yes, any painkillers right now. I myself was not in need of any painkillers except for when I had oral surgery. Yes, and they were used as prescribed. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then there's the loss of a biological parent um, under the age of 18, 23%. Yes. Let's see, my sons lost their biological father right now. On July 2nd of 2011, because you issued a protection order on July 8th of 2011. <laughs> Depression or mental illness in the home. How's my wife doing? Did she say that she experienced a lot of anger? 